Yep, there it is, right in Monterio, California. I bet a lot of you have never heard of the place, but it really is quite interesting. For the next two weeks, much of the world's elite will be flocking to a secretive orgy of power, where they party it up bohemian style, where they give talks, network, discuss policy, and drink heavily. This powerful men's only club has been meeting for the last 133 years. Even the idea for the Manhattan Project, which led to the creation of the atom bomb, came out of the Grove in 1942. Pretty powerful stuff, but who actually attends? The gathering is packed with oil tycoons, politicians, business leaders, and foreign diplomats who all make the pilgrimage to this yearly Redwood campout. Presidents Nixon, Reagan, and George W. Bush all attended the Grove before they graced the Oval Office. Even media bigwigs are a staple, with the likes of the Hearst Dynasty and Walter Cronkite, now replaced with Rupert Murdoch and CEOs from CNN and LA Times. So if the media is there, Americans should know all about what's going on, right? So have you heard of Bohemian Grove? I have not. Not really. No, not at all. I don't have a clue. No. No, I'm afraid I don't. The world's most powerful players uh, get together and discuss policy, party, and also do mock sacrificial rituals together. Oh, no. That's an, that's basically first news that I hear. I heard about it. They sacrifice a, um, a coffin effigy to a giant 40-foot owl. So it's kind of like a modern-day Stonehenge. I don't think it's cool at all. I don't think it's on, no. If that truly does take place, I think it's great. That's scary. That's really scary. I, I did hear they were talking about like a new world order in like two years, something like that. Maybe that's what they're planning. <laughs> it's also just a new whole order. Nobody can really fight it, and it's completely different than our order. Why do they do that? It's not supposed to be published. So, no, I think definitely um, the public is supposed to know what's going on there. For sure, I should know if the media will show it in the TV or newspapers, but unfortunately, no. Well, we can't just leave it at that. <coughs> Nothing left to do but book a flight to San Francisco for the weekend and find out for myself. Abby Martin, RT, Washington.